So let's create uh, well let's create the database and how we're going to handle all the different uh, items and stuff like that. So I'm going to create a folder called managers and I'm going to first create a script which we're going to call resources manager. Okay, let's open it up. Obviously, this is not something you have not seen before. And this is under R2, I believe. Yeah. Now, this is going to be a scriptable object. And we also need to create a set menu for this. And let's also add it underneath a menu name. R2 Resource Manager. Now, we need a list or an array of all items. Okay, then we need an init method for later. And then we also need a dictionary, which because it's a scriptable object, we're going to have it not being serialized. And we're going to have the string item and items dictionary okay then in here inside in it we're going to do all items dot length if all items i dot actually not if let's just add it directly i'm sure you know by now that multiple ids or ids with the same name are going to give you an error so do not have uh, identical IDs. So with that, we're going to be getting back an item or get item string ID. And of course, we need item return value. Come on. Items dictionary try get value ID out return value return the return value okay very very pretty simple for now now there is some well okay there is something that's kind of specific to to dax i guess or to souls like games that a lot of the items are using or a lot of the data you're using for your weapon are shared even if there's multiple instances of them there are kind of cells so here's what i'm thinking and we're going to do obviously we're going to do first the well actually before we go into that let's make on the controller or under managers let's make uh, what we're going to call a profile and let's call it player profile just to not get confused yeah force of habit this needs to be r2 and this now is going to be a scriptable object as well okay and here we're going to need an array of starting clothes and right hand weapon left hand weapon Okay, now on your input manager, you're going to have a reference to that player profile. I'll show you how to, how we're going to sync this uh, through multiplayer. It's going to be simply, you, we are just going to be passing all the strings and then recreating this, uh, making an instance of this player profile and changing them. So. Uh, before we do that, however, I do kind of want to add a new script that's going to be called settings or game manager, I guess. Uh, come on. Now, we don't care if it's mono behavior. Well, we do not want it. And we want a static resources manager resources manager that's static okay and then we need a public static resources manager 
resources manager with a getter that is going to be returning us the resources manager but if the first time you're going to be calling this resources manager is going to be null so if that's the case then resources manager will be resources dot load one resources manager without space as resources manager okay and we need to run the init the first time we add it so it adds all the items onto the the dictionary for now i'm going to make this public as well we don't want on the final game you don't want this to be public you want an instance of the item not the actual item itself but since we do not have any values that we update at runtime it's yeah nobody cares doesn't really matter so on my input manager on start i'm going to go on to my controller well first of all let's get the resources manager and we can do that by going to settings resources manager and then saying controller dot write I think it's yeah, okay we are on the wrong one weapon holder manager controller this will run on start okay so here's the thing we kind of want to control when this is happening now so we're going to make this into a public void init but I kind of want to have access both to the cloth manager and the weapon holder manager or you know what let's say public void set right hand set weapons weapon item right hand weapon item left hand then a weapon holder manager dot right item right hand weapon holder manager left item left hand okay also public void set cloth items which kind of brings the question that there's a bit of an issue here yeah okay so we're just going to do we're going to comment this out and we also want to comment this out as well okay and we also want to comment this well actually cut this and bring it here and then we're going to say weapon holder manager dot init in here yeah okay we'll do it like this set cloth items we're going to bring this here and we're going to require a list of cloth items or you know what let's do add cloth items although I think this is public so okay let's ignore this for now and let's bring this to in here back to the input manager then we're going to say for let's get all our clothes for player profile dot starting clothes dot length find me the item from the resource manager get item player profile starting clothes i dot or yeah like that item and then if item dot is cloth item then controller starting clothes add 
the item cast it as cloth item okay then we don't really care when this is going to be running it can run on start after we actually yeah this might prove an issue then we could just call yeah we're going to have to first call the init for the controller okay and then call on the controller load weapon and we want to have right hand weapon and left hand weapon so item left hand weapon will be player profile or resource manager dot get item player profile dot left hand weapon but only if player profile actually no we still need that left hand weapon okay it might return null so okay so we need we need it to be null so right hand weapon equals get item player profile right hand weapon so we're going to be casting well okay there's one problem that if these are null then you can pass the, the load weapon here so maybe we can say maybe we can pass this as an item weapon item and going to say if weapon item or yeah if weapon item is weapon item so if that's not the case then return otherwise else okay else yeah this needs to be item else or better yet weapon item weapon item yeah that's way okay so now we can just say well, basically, you could uh, just do this in here. Okay, so load we on. Uh, now we're loading things from inside our profile instead of the values we have over there. And yeah, okay, clear that. Now we kind of need to fit to do a few things before we hit play. The first thing we're going to do is inside data, we're going to create a new folder called resources exactly as I write it. And we're going to create a new resources manager with no space in between. Then we're going to add all our items. We have four items. okay and we're going to just add all of them okay then we also need the player profile so I'm just going to write great sword on the right hand weapon and for starting clothes I'm going to say some right body I believe it's called so I'm just going to go on my input manager and drop my player profile here okay let's see where the error is oh the error is that in player controller first of all we need to set this to zero so it all adds them and let's see right hook load weapon model Okay, let's try that again just to make sure that or maybe yeah okay. Yeah, 
Okay, so none of them are working at this moment. So let's see why. On to our input manager, we do call the init. Oh, we are adding, yeah. This needs to go first, first of all. So we load our clothes. And for load weapon, if it's not weapon item, it should be returning. Otherwise, cast it as a weapon item. Let's put a breakpoint and see what's going to happen here. I'll just compile and you're in the crust. Okay, and we're back. I had to reset the controller and add it back there. Let's see how, we, yeah, from what I can see, it kind of destroyed a few things. Didn't save them. Save that, so I'm guessing, yeah. Body, right hand weapon, great sword. Let's hit play and see what's going to happen. Okay, we do get an error here, and I think it's missing the right hook because init has not become. Oh, yeah, we forgot to run init, I think. So, well, we actually didn't forget to run it. It's running here, which is weird. And I just noticed that we're doing something stupid. Like this is kind of pointless. We could just do right hand and left hand. And for references, let's go back. Oh, we're never calling set weapons. Yeah. That's silly. And input manager, controller, set weapons, not load weapons. Which then, yeah, okay. I see what I did there. Item, item. Oops. There it is. Okay, the the reason why I'm calling init first and then set weapons is because init calls and stores the weapon holder manager and the same with the cloth manager. Okay. Let us compile. And voila, here we go. We have our, our weapons with their combos and everything. Okay, so awesome. We are ready to roll and hint, hint. That's what we're going to do on the next part. Uh, one small tip I wanted to say in case, because it does make a difference when you when we are saving. If you go under general, script changes while playing, this fixed a lot of downtime and a lot of bugs and a lot of crashing in this version of Unity. So basically when the script changes while playing, just stop playing and then recompile. Okay, trust me, it makes a huge difference with how much time you have to wait. Anyway, that's it for this part. As always, you know what to do, like, subscribe, and if you like to see more stuff like this, more videos, more of everything, more series, and new stuff, then consider supporting me on Patreon so we can keep making all of these beautiful things. I'll see you next time.